can't believe it. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's dev team seems like they're actually listening to us and they want this to be the best Dragon Ball game of all time. No, I'm not talking about the latest trailer, which was the best yet, don't get me wrong, but the controversy over the split screen local multiplayer seems to be playing out in our favor. The title Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has been under development for what, over five years now, as confirmed by the team themselves early on. Now, initially after the first couple of trailers dropped and the first description given to it underneath all the platforms to be listed on, we were under the impression that they had just foregone the classic local split screen multiplayer option, which is one of the most nostalgic things about this entire Tenkaichi series. Brother, it's been over 15 years since Tenkaichi 3 and back on the PS2 and Wii days, we were definitely playing side by side on the couch with the homies. I mean, I can see it now. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Kid Buu just pushing my shit back 24 seven pause. Oh, how could I forget about this unit right here, man? It, it was the best of times, man. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because we are so close to 1 million subscribers. So let's see if we can pull off that Tom Brady Hail Mary by 2025. But without further ado, let's hop right back into this update. So those of you that have actually talked to me before know that I'm big on consistency. So as a part of that, I got to bring up the fact that I went on record in a prior video under the belief that with this game being under development for five years already and the team stating how difficult it would be to implement this with whatever issues they were having with Microsoft and Sony, that it would probably be out of the question if this game was to come out anytime soon. In my line of thinking, the first Sparking Zero trailer dropped what, like, six seven months ago something like that and we've been getting a trailer or some type of announcement every month since then with how much better every trailer has looked and how much more crisp the character models and animations have gotten it seems like we might be in the last few months before release but this is when we got a huge unexpected update According to most of the major sources like DBS Chronicles and the Sparking Zero news page, platforms have begun updating the description of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero to include support for up to two players locally from what it seems. Now, until there is an official confirmation of local split screen multiplayer from Bandai and the team themselves, we can only keep our hopes high, but this feels like a really good sign, right? Hopefully we'll get even more on this at Summer Games Fest along with a lot of other things that have only really been hinted at so far, right? Like that team edit screen or lobby that looked pretty interesting in V-Jump, but I can't even remember if that got translated properly yet. I'll probably have to go back and look. This wasn't the only thing to pop up within the last couple of days either though. With Summer Games Fest pretty much here, I feel like we might actually get that release date really soon. My initial prediction was by the end of the summer and the way things are looking right now, I might have been right. Shout out to the Nixies on Twitter as according to the United States Patent and Trademark Office, the trademark for Sparking Zero has been officially published in their official gazette. This was posted about two months ago and as of June 4th, the official notice of allowance was released. Now, TLDR, this pretty much states that Bandai Namco has six months to demonstrate the commercial use of the game or to request an extension which has never happened with the latest DB games. Now, commercial use generally means going on sale, so in even simpler terms, basically Sparking Zero should, in big old quotations, release in the next six months unless Bandai requests an extension to delay. Now, if this turns out to be true and everything is going according to plan, and I'll post the link to the document down below, this would pretty much line up with my prediction that we should get a release date by the end of the summer, and possibly even that date of mine of an October 1st release date being true as well. Now, like I said in the beginning, until there is official word from Bandai themselves, even with this paperwork, anything can change within the next few months as it stated, but even worst case scenario, I mean, we were initially shooting for that late 2024, early 2025 release date anyway, so things are looking more than great for us if you ask me. Every month with the new trailers coming out and character introductions releasing, it's getting easier for us to fill out this roster ourselves, and this seems to be where we are so far. A whole 164 characters lined up so far for us, not including, you know, any season one DLC, I'm sure, because unless they're waiting for a super specific theme trailer, it's starting to look like we might not have any GT characters on the base roster. Now, I won't go as far as to say OG Dragon Ball will probably be left off the main roster yet, 
But if Master and Disciple isn't going to include any OG Dragon Ball characters and Fusion Warriors left out Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, man, I, I don't know. Now, of course, I'm not going to sit here in front on you guys. I'm going to buy the Ultimate version and whatever DLC comes out, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be happy about it. We've already seen GameStop, Walmart, and all these other places putting out placeholders for Sparking Zero, and even the Ultimate Edition has been priced on shelves now, so it feels like we're almost there, like right around the corner. But let me know what you guys think about these massive, and I mean massive, updates for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. It seems like this month is going to be really active for us with Summer Games Fest, probably another trailer in a few weeks after V-Jump 2. And this will probably have a lot of news this time around as well. This summer is going to be important for the build up to launch of this game. I, I just feel it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments though, guys. And be sure to follow me on Twitter as well because it is hard to keep up with all of this news myself. So if you guys ever see something and want to tag me, please be my guest. But anyways, have a great, great day. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. already. You better not cry and complain when I wipe the floor with you. I'm ready, so bring it on. I'm not gonna lose. Can I even win this fight? Yeah! Da -da 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 -da! Ready for this? Here you go! Time to get serious! Huh? Yeah! Yeah! Ah! No, shut your mouth! Let's see who the strongest <gasps> one really is! Ten. Okay. You shine. The great goat takes is here to take you down. I can do it. I'll show you what I'm made of. Your opponent is the one and only goat. Here we go. Take this. Ta-da! Rapid fire. Super Donut! Ah! Super Attack! Yes. Do you really think you can beat me? Yes. The fun is just getting started. I refuse to lose to someone who transforms with such a dumb looking pose. Yeah. Your use of the Potara is but a blasphemous imitation. Behold my true power! Let's do this thing! I, Gogeta, will finish you once and for all! So much fool! The exterminated! Now, when you crush those ambitions of yours, this is Vegito Blue! Now, let's settle this once and for all! A confrontation between two fused Super Saiyan Blue Warriors. Now this should be entertaining. This fight will decide which one of us is the strongest. This is the end for you! 